So, New York's been in the news quite a bit recently. Some of it good, for example, uh, the governor of the state providing some really reasoned and decent uh, reposts to Trump's attitude towards the state that's been suffering really very much through the pandemic. But then more recently, we see that um, there's been a huge overreaction on the part of the police to the protests over uh, George Floyd's death and that the thin blue line has in fact crossed a line on numerous occasions, uh, most famously with the Buffalo, New York police pushing over that 75 year old um, peace activist. So, so as a result of that, I decided that the drink I wanted was one that seems to sum up my mixed feelings about New York at the moment, which is that I think it's a great city, really like it, but some things are clearly a bit rotten in that place as well. So therefore tonight we are going to have the New York Sour. Um, to accompany it, I'm listening to Porter's Head's Sour Times. That also seems fairly appropriate. I'm sure I'll come to love New York again, but at the moment I'm very mm, not sure. Uh, it's a whiskey drink and it's shaken and uh, it's very easy to make, you'll be glad to know. Uh, first of all, two ounces of bourbon or rye. And I'm using my usual George Dickel rye whiskey. Then one ounce of lemon juice. It's all lime juice. It's a sour after all, so you would expect that. It goes in there. And then another ounce of the sugar to balance it out. I'm just using simple syrup. But one of the versions I tried of this was at McMenamin's Edgefield and they made one with maple syrup. And I'm not going to lie, it was really tasty. So you can play around with your syrups a little bit if you want to as well. And then the final thing I'm going to add, this is the optional extra ingredient. You know, not everyone likes raw egg, I get that. So, but I'm going to put an egg white in there as well. Because what that'll do is sort of add to the kind of body and texture of the drink and provide a little bit of froth on the top as well. It does mean I've got to shake it pretty hard, so we'll just do that to try and make it nice and frothy. Hopefully that's enough. And we are going to, um, actually what I'm going to do is sort of strain it through the strainer, but I want to leave enough space for the froth to get through as well. I just don't want any ice and I'm pouring it over, over ice that I've already put into an old fashioned or rocks glass like that. Oh, and you can see already, I don't know if you can see that, yes you can. It's kind of nice and rich. The New York Sour is not just a whiskey sour. At the moment what I've made is a whiskey sour, but we need one more ingredient to make it a New York Sour. Um, and it's so called a New York Sour because although it was made in Chicago, it's in the Big Apple where it became really popular in the 19th century. And the extra ingredient is a red wine, or as I'm going to use some port, kind of drizzled over the top so that it will create, I hope, a very nice effect. I'm just going to pour it on the top like this, just nice and slowly. I'm going to pour it around and it's about a couple of ounces, an ounce and a half, two ounces, something like that, until you've got this kind of really beautiful marbled effect. Let's see what we got. Ah, now, despite everything, New York is a great city and that is a great cocktail.